Club motorsport in the United Kingdom is seen as one of the most interesting, competitive and exciting in the world. And for the remainder of 2021, I'm going to take you inside one of the UK's flagship organisations, the 750 Motor Club. We'll get to know the drivers, the cars and the tracks and let you know how you can get involved and go racing yourself. Today we'll be taking a look at the Mazda 7 series, a relatively new format introduced in 2019 but has been immensely successful within the club. This being an offshoot of the incredibly popular low cost championship for kit cars designed by the original Ron Champion Build Your Own Sports Car book Dimensions. The Mazda 7 championship offers the same ultra close slipstreaming race action but with increased power for drivers looking for that step up in performance and also reliability. Let's have a chat to one of the drivers who's called this series home for the past few season and is thoroughly enjoying his racing within this immense championship. So my name is Ollie Batten and I'm in the Mazda 7s or Mazda Low Cost or MA70. I used to like watching racing growing up, but I never really got into karting or anything like that. So um, I got a kit car for the road just as a bit of a fun toy and I decided to do a few sprints in it. I really enjoyed the sprinting but wanted that kind of next step up. So I ended up buying a low cost and entered the 750 Motor Club Low Cost Championship. Which was fantastic, really good way to learn about racing, really close racing, a really good series and really great people as well. Did that for um, three or four years and then there'd been a lot of talk about eventually putting a master engine into them and I had quite an unlucky year where I went through a few engines and so we decided that it was time to do something about it so we did a conversion, put the master engine in and worked with the, the motor club and a few other people and, and developed the series. The idea of this championship is to keep the racing incredibly close while allowing the drivers to have fun in a reliable car. So you can be upgrading from the normal low cost car using a high quality package from kit spares who help out the championship. You'll be upgrading to a 1.8 litre VVT Mazda MX-5 Mark 2.5 engine and gearbox. And the control package parts are a tubular 41 exhaust manifold, a catalytic converter, a plenum chamber, restrictor plate, fuel pressure regulator and an emerald standalone ECU with a wideband lambda sensor. You can also pick up some of the optional parts through the kit spares website including the engine wiring loom, prop shaft, engine mount kit, gearbox mount kit, silencer, swirl pot, air filter, alloy radiator, a throttle cable and the fuel pipe and fuel pump. And there's a large and friendly atmosphere within the 750 Motor Club forums. Should you come into any issue when putting this all together, there'll always be someone there to help and assist you. So the sprints were a really good introduction into motorsport, uh, but you, you know, you're out there on your own just against the clock. And so you know, I only did two or three of them, but you just want that extra element of competition, uh, which is why I got into low cost. I, mean, I guess I was quite nervous because I wasn't part of a team and I didn't have any friends doing it. I just decided to do it. So I got the car and just kind of turned up on my own really. But everybody was so friendly and everyone in 750 Motor Club were really helpful. Um, some of the guys that I met on that first race weekend, I'm still really good friends with now and still race against now. So uh, it's just a really friendly place to be, a really good paddock and um, yeah, I just really enjoy doing it. The Mazda 7 Championship has had a fantastic introduction to the world of motorsport, having just finished its third season in 2021. A great championship which has ended up being won by Danny Andrew who had a fantastic season capping it off with two wins at Snetterden a month or so back. The championship is run over six events with a mixture of double and triple header weekends which maximises the value for money over a season. As mentioned the cars can be upgraded for a small amount of money in motorsport terms but there also are a few now becoming available on the market should you want to buy them second hand. All that information is over on the 750 Motor Club website and their classified forum. The low cost series just looked like a lot of fun. I mean there's the Caterham series as well that are out there but 750 just looked like a really good motor club to get involved with. Um, the low cost racing just seems so close. Um, and obviously the, you don't quite need the budget that you need in Caterham's but you still got that kind of wheel-to-wheel -wheel racing and 
you know, I wanted to I wanted to start something that was going to teach me to be a better driver. So uh, you know, low cost just seemed to be the ideal option for that. And then the Mazda 7 Series or Championship now is just that kind of step up in performance. You know, with stickier tyres, more powerful engine. And it's been building and building over the last couple of years. I've got lap record and, and winner Anglesey and Alton Park, which is my favourite track. I, I won there. The, the best memory is just getting into it for the first time with the Master engine when we did the conversion. And we, we rushed the conversion, really. We did it over a couple of weeks. And wow. It was at Donington, and I raced in sports specials with it as, as the kind of, I suppose, prototype Master car. Um, TSR team had done one that was running in sports specials with the Master engine, and it, it looked really great. Um, then we developed all of this, the, the championship specific parts on this and the first time we went out and it was just so much more fun with that extra power and the sticky tyres and yeah I don't think I'll ever forget that. This year the series ran at Silverstone right at the start of the year, it ran at Donington, so fantastic tracks all round before going to Brands Hatch, then Caldwell Park, then Olsen Park and then Snetterton to round off the season. And for updates for the upcoming season, be sure to check out the 750 Motor Club website to understand where they might be running next year. As for the costs, like the rest of the 750 Motor Club, it's a very cheap entry. £25 for the club membership, £120 for the season registration, and then race entry fees, upwards of £250 depending on the race track. Of course, triple headers will be a little bit more expensive. The thing about racing these kind of cars is they're not very aerodynamic, so the tow really helps. So no matter where you are, there's always battles. So you know, years of battles in low cost with uh, Lee Dolby, Ben Powney, Steve Paddock, so many of them. Um, I had a really good race with David Winter at Snetterton last year in the, in the Mazdas, uh, really close. Um, I think anything where the racing is going to be close and wheel to wheel and everybody's equal and the regs are tight, is going to produce a great championship. If you want low cost, enjoyable racing with a bunch of fantastic drivers, I think this is a great place to learn your trade. Caterham racing is, of course, for some people and not for others, but if you are going into the world of motorsport and wanting to learn racecraft straight away, this could be an excellent choice. Wherever you are throughout the grid, you'll get experience in slipstreaming, overtaking, and general great racing. So, from my experience as a fan watching this series over the past few years, it seems like a fantastic place to start if you want to race in caterums or even just race in sports car type cars in general. Realistically, um, I've, I've never qualified pole, so that would be quite nice at some point. But really, I just want to have close wheel-to-wheel -wheel racing that's fair and clean and everybody has a great time. It comes off track and has really enjoyed it. And, I think that's the whole essence of why you can racing. Uh, that's what the 750 Motor Club promote, and that's definitely what we've got with the, the Master Championship. Thanks as always to the 750 Motor Club for their help producing these videos. A massive thank you to their whole team. They put on a fantastic season, and I'm very much looking forward to what's next. Be sure to check out the 750 Motor Club website should you want to see any more information on this championship. And congratulations to all the winners this season. They drove fantastic and had some really great races along the way. I'll see you soon for another video. Goodbye.